Hello viewers, welcome to another series of Caribbean Chemicals Live. We thank you for, of course for joining us this afternoon and do trust that you are keeping safe and healthy. We apologize for the lack of transmission on our Instagram page due to some technical difficulties. With me this afternoon is John Oye Johnson from the Southwest region and I'm yours truly Dane Parker from the Central region. The topic today is irrigation. It's a lovely subject. Um, all farmers need to be on board and fully understand this journal because we're talking about delivering not just water but minerals, nutrients to our crops. And so we want to break down the conversation for you by introducing to you, of course, our Sanfu line of products, um, be it the tapes, be it our sprinklers, the filters. And of course, we'll be showing you some of these products on set so you can of course get a full understanding of what is here we're talking about now too to also include our injector system yes we do carry a line of injectors so Janoy, how do you well break down to us um in terms of sanfu and you know just to explain to our viewers this afternoon why we would have gone that route all right so as we're experiencing no drought conditions for many farmers right yes yes so water is key right now well, that water is, is key throughout the cycle of the crops, but it's especially now, it is important that you have adequate water, so a suitable irrigation system is what you need. So what we have done was to search for a supplier that would give us quality, mm -hmm. give us the delivery, and at a lower cost. Excellent. So we chose a company like Sanfu, which has years of experience. They, they were established in what, 1976? Yes, yes, yes. They have a wealth of experience in delivering and creating adequate irrigation systems. So, of course, the advantage there in, as you mentioned, one, the system has to be affordable. affordable yeah. um, in this day and age, conservation is key, so it must be able to deliver that water, but um, in a situation where we're not wasting it, um, we are delivering it to the crop, so you're maintaining that growth and development while at the same time farmers and growers, you know, conserving of what you have. Now to, again, the longevity. We don't want to purchase something here now, farmers, that within a month or two, we're going to have to go back to source. Um, so the quality, the longevity, again, too, it must be adaptable. So That's we right. want something that can fit multiple crops. So be it that you're growing onions or sweet potatoes or whatever the crop might be, strawberries. We want to be in a position to have a chemical or a product that can do just that. And again, too, for not all persons will have or be connected to a, a, a irrigation system. Crucial point. Crucial so again, no, it must be a, a gravity feed system. It should be able to be flexible in terms of low pressure. And of course, long-term benefit, you know, overall to the farmers. So what are some of the, the, the features, you know, of the drip tape that we consider? All right. So I, I don't even remember, Parker, some time sometime ago, farmers were kind of hesitant mm -hmm. to acquire drip tapes because persons were worrying about uh, structural integrity. Yes, yes, yes. It can do the work that it's designed for. But what we have brought in is our sand food drip tape, right? And these rolls, as you can see behind us, these rolls usually come about a thousand meter, which yes. is about 3,280 feet, right? Yes, yes, yes. And for a standard system where a person has about one roll on the bed, you're looking at about two and a half rolls. Okay, right? okay, all right. And the cost is much lower compared to drip hose, right? Okay, so understood that delivery this. System. Mm -hmm. And other features, you might see where we have different sizes, as I said, fit various crops, right? Yes, indeed. So we have basically our eight inch. So if it's a case that you want a greater water delivery, the yes, yes, yes. onion that I've mentioned, we have the eight inch size for that. And also for like your peppers or your tomatoes, we have the one foot spacing, which will give you that delivery in that diamond. So we're talking about no quality, but at the same time, we also want to consider flow rate. Um, this is a two liter per hour. Yeah. So you can, of course, attach like a thousand gallon or one of the totes to the system and still benefit from the fact that you're delivering the nutrition or your water to the crop itself. Um, the mosaic chip, talk to us about that. What is that really? Uh, very important design because I said there is a lot of tapes out there, right? Mm -hmm. But this design is very crucial. Here why now. The design, as I say, mosaic, what you have is that basically various teeth align. So you have one up, one below, one down, one beside. So it's like it's a 
spiral flow. Yeah, indeed, yes, and yes. And this helps to regulate that flow. So you're getting that constant pressure being delivered. Excellent point, excellent point. Emitters. And based on that mosaic design, right, what you have is that you are getting blockage or prevention from blockage, right? So it's blocking out any debris that can block that emitter. Now, bear in mind now to the farmers and general that if you're on a slope, what this gives you is the benefit of delivering that water across that slope to all the crops yes. without some being overwatered and others being underwatered. So economics, it makes sense, it's dynamic, it can be used in the various crop developmental stages. So all in all, you're getting a long-term benefit from using this technology that we've brought in in the form of the, the, the sun food drip system. Now, bear in mind to farmers that different parts are present. So we have the drip valves, we have the L connectors, end caps if you so need. Um, perhaps if you have breakage and you of course have those connectors or joiners and you also have that ear discharge valve that you can attach to the system. And again, the long-term benefit is that we do supply these parts. So, you know, once you've purchased and are using the system, then what you're benefiting from, of course, is your technical services that we offer. And at the same time, we can, of course, replace those parts should the, the occasion arise and if it's needed. Um, walk us through, Janoy, in terms of the installation process. Um, right. What is it I would need and what, what does it offer? What, what should we be doing? All right. Essentially, uh, these fittings are designed for PVC system, right? So what do you want to ensure that you have the correct drill bit, as it is stated on the screen? Yes, so yes, yes. millimeter drill bit. And then what you want to do, you know, is to get the orientation or... The, the spacing of your beds. Yes, so indeed. that you have the correct spacing. And mark on that PVC and orient that PVC upwards so you can be able to properly drill that hole without having an issue. Because you don't want some being in the correct position and others being out. So, so you have to you, have that yeah, you don't, wanna, you don't want to show it right. out, indeed. So you drill, then you use a clamp, which will provide, you push in that clamp, and that will provide... Uh, Basically, create a ceiling. Indeed, indeed. So no leakage. So yes, ensure yes, that yes. you put that clamp, especially with the PVC setup. And and, and this is a rubber. To continue, John, this is a rubber um, clamp or what we could refer to as a grommet. A so grommet, it fits yeah, into the space, it. and then you put into the 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 device, um, the, the head connector, pretty much into that. Yeah. So it gives you the opportunity to seal that orifice that you've just opened. You open the pipe, you break the ah. pipe, so you want to seal it back. All right, continue for us now, please. All right. So after you have created that, right, that opening and put in your grommet, what you want to do is insert your L connectors. Yeah, either your L connector or your drip valve. All right, okay, here are the okay. option now. If you're using your L connector only, what you want to do is to bore that hole on top of the pipe. Yes, so indeed. Not to the side. So because it's an L shape, you want to yes. bore that hole on top of the pipe. Right. Indeed. If it's a case that you want to benefit from the drip valve system, which a lot of, which sometimes I recommend to farmers, right? Yes, you want yes. the flexibility of, ab of being able to close all of those drip lines. So, if for example, if one side you feel wet more, indeed, you can indeed. close that off while the other side wet. So, you see, farmers, the, the technology is such that when you purchase, you can get the individual parts and then you can now decide to get your lock off valve for each bed or each, each bed. line. So you get the benefit of being able to stagger your wetting if necessary. And at the same time, you know, it gives you the advantage of more control. So in instances, as you mentioned, John, some beds, if it's on, a, on an area where so you're I getting see. more water, yeah. you can cut back and then, you know, do accordingly. Um, this, is, this is something that, of course, farmers would want to take up because, again, you're getting long-term benefit, high quality, and at the same time, it's adaptable. All right, so... We, we have another type, which is an HY tube, or what is called a Devin tube. Um, John, I show the farmers for me, please. What is it that we're talking about here? I have one right here. So this is how your HY tube will look, right? In this nice compact roll. Right? Yes. And this is a, a much wider tool, a, a much wider drip tube, as you can see. So, so what right? exactly does it do? All right. So these tubes are ideal when you're doing like orchard crops mm -hmm. or even vegetable crops. Okay. Because okay. this will deliver a greater volume of water. So we're mm -hmm. talking about upwards from about probably like a gallon per hour or mm -hmm. more. So right? if I'm an onion farmer and I need to do mm -hmm. my steel bed practice, this is a nice segue now. This I need to wet down that surface in order to do my pre-emergence or whatever it is. You're saying I should get this tube. Yeah, man. Excellent tube to use. Because what you will have, you know. All right. You see each tube? 
is basically designed with different holes. So some tube might have two, some tube might have three, some might have five, right? Okay, okay. But this tube, you have two holes injected here, mm -hmm. right? So when you turn on your pipe and the pressure reaches the, the tube, what you have is that water squirts. Or it sprays right, out right through. Right through. So you're getting even wetting and wetting quickly. Covering an area. So it can vary from four to five meters. That is it. You and so it. even in sweet potatoes, if you want to wet down that area to keep out your weevils, or you want to just provide some extra water after yeah. you've planted out, this is the tube, of course, to have in your possession. It's usually a four to five meter range, meaning that you are getting up to eight to ten feet of spread. So if you're looking at it, you run, if, you, if, you, if the standard tractor prepares your land, you're covering three to four beds at once one. with one cycle. Um, you're getting over um, 100 feet of material on this roll. So you're getting not just quality, you're getting the adaptability of, of this product. Um, what are some of the crops that you can utilize um, your Devin tube in? All right, so it covers a range of crops. So we're talking from the vegetables. So if you're doing the kalaloo, you're doing the pop choy, uh, watermelon in cases where you're cultivating papaya, especially in that high fruit production stage. Yes, water. indeed, they need it's more pulling water. pulling that water, yeah. you know. So mm -hmm. a lot of farmers might say, all right, the drip tape might not be enough. This is a solution for them. Excellent, right? excellent. Getting stuff. that wet in cooling down the soil. And uh, other, other crops around the world, like cocoa, uh, citrus, persons that use it and get the results. Right. Excellent, excellent. Even if you have perhaps dashing and farmers and you need ah. to add additional water to that area, again, excellent product with which to utilize. Um, what you're seeing on screen here, no farmers, are, is an example of its application in crop. And the application is varied and vast. So you're getting the adaptability. So for my ornamentalist that are Ooh. establishing turf, or my golf courses that are around. This, 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 this HY or Devin tube is perfect. This is a solution, Parker, because you, you mentioned a good point, you know. Uh, for persons who are doing turf and you want to fertigate, right, those turf, you can actually send your nutrients through these lines, you know. Excellent, excellent. And getting that. So once you're using a high-quality fertilizer that will dissolve cleanly, you can run that through your system. And I suggest that you, you the, for, for what Janoy just mentioned about fertilizer, I want to throw in the ring here that the only high quality fertilizer we're talking about here <laughs> is our Agasol, Agasol line. line, be it our um, 1836 or 153015. So, you know, that's where it, 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 the nutrition package is farmers if you're feeding, be it your turf or otherwise. So, it's adaptable, it's affordable, you can install. Now, this is a basic setup that we have on screen of how we can, on, well, with irrigation pumps or if you're coming from uh, a, hydrant. A, a hydrant then yeah. you can of course set up accordingly um, you want the water to be delivered of course you just design the field accordingly this is a suggestion of how to do it you can of course regulate each of these lines now of course with a lock off valve lock so you, you get more control and better delivery over the period so even scallion farmers can use this yeah man can, and, and an important thing in a parker you're covering a larger area and probably with even less material excellent look excellent. at this design if you're if you're splitting a one acre block like this mm -hmm. now you come with your main line through the center and then have each of those laterals coming off from that main line mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so you can cover a larger area with less material Excellent yeah, point. Excellent point. Area. And so even in the, the different agro parks that employ rainers or sprinklers, you know, this is an excellent ah. substitute um, in terms of one-off cost. You don't need to be repairing much because guess what you can do, farmers? When you're finished with it, you can roll it up and pack it away. Yeah. But so added benefit. I mentioned, I mentioned a, a key factor in a park. Yes, you ever use sprinkler and have to move them around the field? Oh, no, that's, that, I limited. that's when you, that, that's a problem there, walking <laughs> through the field after you've done all that work. No, you're laying this down and getting the benefits of using a sprinkler, right? Excellent. And, so, and excellent. farmers who may worry about it, like, wait, Janai and Parker, if you're putting down extra water on the soil, huh? won't we have weed challenges? That is why we have range, range of solutions like our prole, pre-emergent herbicide, yes, that yes. you can whip the soil. Mm -hmm. Put on your prole application and then now plant within with this system. Excellent, excellent stuff. Yes. Excellent stuff here, farmers. I do hope that you are participating. Um, drop us a line in the chat. Let us know what you, what the feedback is so far. Are you liking these products? 
are you um are you familiar with them and at the same time perhaps you've purchased um what what's the history like with that with the, with this with this yeah. product that you've you've bought um from carbon chemicals so on screen again this is the devin tape um and the drip irrigation lines on screen um be it in papayas um this is dragon fruit, dragon fruit and yeah. you have also yeah. strawberries so the application is wide it's wide and and we're showing, we're showing the, the range of application to give you an idea that these tubes are very flexible. Look at that, dragon fruit. That, and dragon fruit is catching on now, you know. So this is a system I'll encourage persons to acquire. Yes, are interested in doing that. It's a nice system. And look at that drip uh, strawberry. Yes, Having yes, yes. Having that drip line run through that setup. Yes, indeed. Giving that water can send through your nutrients and get in the growth that you would desire. Excellent stuff. Again, here at Carbon Chemicals, we do take the opportunity to bring to our farmers the various solutions. I mean, we are in the field, we are in the know, and so at, as we learn, as we look at the different needs that our farmers and growers need, yes. we adapt and bring this technology right to their doorsteps. Now, another feature that we have is our our filter system um again to what's a good irrigation system without a filter and again i want to introduce you to our our sandfu mm -hmm. filter this is an excellent product it's high quality um uv treated again so you can last the test of time you don't want a product that is going to be um yes, you know great. breaking up and being destroyed you can of course utilize this product it's a 150 to 200 microns meaning that the, f the screen you can take out a, a, a vast okay. amount of mesh um, amount of debris from that water so if you're lifting water from um, a pond or, or somewhere a lake or a body that is resting and there's debris in it then of course you want to be used that now what john i just removed just now is one of the backwash valves so when you're pumping you want to flush this system so you yeah. get out all the debris that's inside there um, so, so it comes with this, it's adaptable, so, you do, so once you open this, you, you flush the system literally. Um, so that's one aspect to it. The fact that it's mounted, this is the direction you mount it, or as you're ah. seeing me holding it, or what you're seeing on screen. If you do otherwise, then what you'll end up doing is that you'll have the debris going into your pipe system and then blocking your pipes along the path. So I see Georgia here, so um, perhaps that? with a question at this time because the, the viewers are watching and of course they want to share with some of the technology and of course ask questions as we go along. So you know, feel free to drop us a line in our WhatsApp. Um, that's 876-401-4766. And of course, be it in the chat as we go along mm -hmm. on our Facebook and YouTube live session. You're saying, John? And, and so, you're saying, Parker, this is basically, you have the option of using like a screen filter and a disc filter. And yes, indeed. Yes. So, this, this is showing you the direction to orientate your screen filter yes. if you want the screen option. And if you want to go this yeah, the other option. Exactly, okay, exactly. Okay, okay. So what you do know, you can filter out large particles. Let's just cut for a moment and hear what one of our viewers are saying. Um, Georgia, go ahead, please. So Lawrence Fagan on YouTube is asking, how much does this system cost, the complete setup? Okay, all right. So we'll break that down for you in a moment. Again, to other various farm stores, what we'll give you is a ballpark figure, a range, whether that be from CCG or from the various points. So just to, just to give you an idea. Um, where that is concerned. Go ahead again, Georgia. And Leroy Wilson is asking, do you have to use this system with an irrigation pump or hydrant? Well, again, Leroy, I can answer that one quickly. Because it's low pressure, uh, a thousand gallon or a tote, or, or, or uh, I've seen one of the, the, the um, four, 45 gallon drums mm -hmm. attached to a system like this and simply utilize. As a matter of fact, I have, I've promised one particular school and I'll be delivering that much to, to set up a small scale system in their garden plots just to give them an opportunity. Of course, the students to see what irrigation is like and to utilize it. You know, so it's simple. So from a 45 gallon drum to a tote to a thousand gallons or whatever the size container you have, you know, this system, of course, can be um, established. But, but Sir Leroy, once you elevate that system, generally above a meter, that's right. you'll get that pressure, enough pressure to basically have your tips running that's right our system running right so i mean as basic as some 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 concrete blocks yeah. to raise or elevate that tank or to construct um, a base for that tank or or whatever it is that you're using again so back to our filter system now Janoy. Mm -hmm. you can of course add your pressure regulators to this 
So you're oh, getting an okay, input okay. and an output. So you know exactly your, your intake and your output. So you can, of course, um, you know, regulate that inflow so you know exactly what's going into your field. Again, we install, well, we, we call it upside down, but this is the correct way to, to install because you don't want to be allowing the debris, as you mentioned, to go straight. into your lines. Ah. So once you open the, the head of it, everything will come downwards and then you can, of course, flush and um, continue that. So simple but yet effective. Um, this is an inch and a half setup. So of course, you can feel free to um, either scale up the size or scale it down. Um, again, we have our, our, you know, different PVC options that you can attach to it. And again, this is a coarse threading. So when you go to your hardware or to wherever you go to buy, your, you could walk with it or just look at the threads. You want a coarse thread to attach to it. And that's important because if it's a fine thread, you won't, it won't attach very easily. Okay, just the that's same. True. That's important. Now we are very important, very important. onto the Venturi system. Um, again, too, we must introduce fertilizer to the crops be it um, well, a soluble option. So how do we go about doing this, Janoy? We utilize a Venturi system. All right. Uh, for If you're going to use a Venturi system, you want some form of pressure though. So persons who might have the hydrant or might be using a pump, you'll need some form of pressure to get the Venturi to pull in uh, whatever fertilizer you have dissolved. So the whole purpose of a Venturi, the basic thing, is to pull from a stock, fertilizer stock, into your water solution and then it's sending that out. So <laughs> you're pulling from the stock, whatever ratio you have set based on the gauge that enters, enters the head and mix with water and then sends it out back, mm -hmm. right? So you're getting the fertilizer diluted to a ratio you have selected, right? Indeed, and so farmers, what this does for you, it gives you the option of not walking through the field and having to put down nutrients. You can simply make a concentrated stock solution and then, you know, simply turn on your system and it does that job for you. It's adjustable with the dosage rate. And of course, you can always attach one of our screen filters to it. And we did make a setup for you All so right. you can see. So this is the Sanfu um, system that we've established. Um, it, pretty, it comes with your three, um, one inch injector that is here. You get the hose, the assembly clamp. And of course, the different dials are present on it. So this adjusts your flow rate into the field. All so right. you get that. And of course, the, the, the hose itself is over a meter long. Mm -hmm. And attached to the hose end is your screen filter. So you're getting a complete setup um, that you don't have to go and buy additional parts. So once all you need is just a PVC parts that we attach here. So let me get the correct Parker. So you mean... Uh uh, one inch treading, yes, but a three quarter opening, exactly. Right, okay, exactly. Right. So one inch treading, but a three quarter opening. And so, right. you can feel free to maintain your one inch. This system is a three quarter setup, um, but you can always you can always step up or step down, yeah. just regulate the flow as well as or the pressure as you get the um, the, 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 the first irrigation startup. Now, you need a three point um, system here, ah, so you need was. two lock offs on your sides. And then this is the lock off for your main hose. So you simply turn the pressure down and then send that or divert that pressure through your venturi and into your field. Now there's an arrow that, is come, that comes with your system. That arrow must point to your field. So once, once you're doing that, John, maintain the arrow flow. So everything is pointing to field. To field. Exactly. You don't, want, you don't want to confuse. Because if you try that, then you'll destroy or cause some amount of issue. You won't get a suction. Yeah. Now, we attach also to it um, PVC unions. So no, exactly. So you give you have the option of simply breaking down the system and moving it away. So here, John is opening it up. So if you do uh, or turn these laterals, then what you'll get now, John is you can simply take this portion out and then quick and easy. And if you have a large acreage, you could bring this setup to somewhere else. So viewers, what Parker is trying to say is that you can have this station set up in different locations. Exactly, right? on your farm. And But you can only have one Venturi. That's right. That, or if it's a case that you're running uh, several uh, solutions on different fees, probably you want to buy multiple Venturi. But if you're doing one at a time, mm -hmm. you can also have the different stations and That's buy right. a Venturi set up. And you just easily snap on at the different... And point. not just that too, you know, I must say that there are some instances where your farm is remote and... You know, there are some of us who are not so much um, 
honest and people will see this lovely oh, setup yes, and they yes, will yes, borrow yes. it and not bring it back. So we, te we tend to install these so that we can tear down and take it back home or to store it in yeah. safekeeping. Not that we don't want to buy more, but I mean, just to keep it safe, we install this as well, your, your, your PVC union. So right. it's one of the things that we've observed from time to time. Then. So to give a breakdown then, so this would be your source of water coming in. That's right. right. All right, so what you want to do is to divert water for some systems, you know, if your system can maintain the pressure for some persons would basically lock this completely exactly. in some case. And what that does is to divert water, the main, to go up this channel, this first channel here, because you have to open these, push through your system, right? Yeah, as well as I said, follow the arrow, right? Mm -hmm. It will cause a pressure to pull from the stock. That's right. Mixes into the head and then comes out to this end and, and then flow. into your field. Right? So this is the whole purpose of having these lockers at these strategic points. And for those persons, I, I like to tell my farmers this, for those persons who visit our fast food chains very frequently, when you uh, go to those juice stations, this is what is happening right at that juice station. That device, you see, when you press that trigger on, on your cups to fill with drink, yeah. then you're getting water and syrup mixing together via a venturi that gives you the adequate bricks or sweetness that yes, gives that, that, that drink. So it's the same thing, but only it with a fertilizer situation. Oh, so you're saying they're using a regulator. Exactly. There's a like venturi this. right at the base mm -hmm. to, the, to the back of that um, juice mixer. And all that is happening is that it, it knows the ratio of syrup, which is your fertilizer stock solution, and water to mix together to give you a, a proper drink. Simple so simple as that is the same thing. We mix a concentrated fertilizer, be it your Agasol blend, um, whether it be 9, 18, 36, or your 15, 30, 15, and then that product is diluted here. It's usually at a, a ratio. The, the part two of this conversation is going to happen. Farmers, I know there are burning questions about how to mix that fertilizer. We're yeah. going to have a part two of that mm -hmm. session that gives you the adequate breakdown of what to do and how to inject that fertilizer and how to, of course, give you the options that you need um, in terms of different chemical products that can be mixed or different um, humic or fulvic acid products that we carry that you can, of course, use in your injector system. So, you know, we have in mind, of course, that now there are certain disadvantages and advantages to the system, most of which are advantages. Um, for persons with low pressure, you want to build that pressure up so as to get your, your venture functioning. So that's a disadvantage. By option of using a, a pump, either electrical. E exactly, or, or otherwise. Okay. Um, you want to give that, that a head start by charging your lines and then switch over to your nutrient tank. You don't want to start by just injecting or pulling up because you want water in your lines first and then you switch over to your venturi system. To so bear that in mind. Part of the advantage is that you're going to get uniform distribution of that nutrient right throughout the field. Yeah. Um, the flow rate is going to be uniform. Each plant, of course, will get its required dosage. Um, again, too, you have the mix rate that is present here. So you can, of course, Enjoy. utilize it. So you can turn the dial to one to one or one to five accordingly and get that product onto your field. It's going to be um, a reduction in labor. So again, too, and it's quick and easy to install. That's this right. didn't take me five minutes. It's almost um, four feet of pipe. I didn't buy an entire easy. length of pipe. It's quick and easy. And again, too, um, quite um, simple to install. And again, we'll have further discussions on this in our next um, broadcast. And we have observed, as agronomists, several uh, you see, best practices, exactly. or do's and don'ts, that we have seen over the years. And what have basically pained me the most in the park is when persons run the irrigation the whole day. Oh, or, no. Or, that, sorry, the fertigation system the whole day. That's not, that's not required. That's not required. If you do that, then what you end up doing is you've added the fertilizer and then diluted it to yeah, a point where that. you've leached out that nutrient. Again, too, ah. um, we, we're kind of preempting the part two, but nonetheless, farmers should know this. Um, time the irrigation session. Five minutes for water, switch over to your nutrient, and then flush that line, and you should be good. So overall, 20, 25 minutes should give you enough time to dose the entire field of an acre mm -hmm. and provide sufficient nutrient flow to each of your plant. And you mentioned filters. Yes, indeed. Cleaning your filters 
is a recommendation, right? So you don't want to, if you know that you have a lot of debris in your line, do regular cleaning. If it means that if you use your pumping from a pond, yes, yes. I say pump clean before you pump. Yes. Right? And then, of course, select the type of filter that you'll need, whether it be disc or screen, screen so as to give you. So you don't want to have residue going into your lines or through your um, venturi system that's going to cause um, issues there. Yeah. Again, observe your nutrient compatibility and correct some of the leaks that you generally would have because that's going to reduce your overall pressure um, in your line. So we want to bear that in mind as we continue this conversation, John, um, you know, at this time, we open the mic again, um, Georgia, for those farmers, of course, who would have had questions to ask or, you know, wanted us to clarify some more for them. Um, so while Georgia is coming up with those questions, I must say to you that if you need one-on-one um, -on -one, um, consultation, we have a trained, well-equipped team, of course, right across the length and breadth of the island. If you have our 2022 calendar, you'll see the contact persons and their numbers. Or if you want, it's right on your screen at this point in time. Um, we have Aluda Shaw and Mikem Harris. He's in Cornwall, and that's, of course, St. James Trelawney and Hanover. Yeah. We have Sian Spence and Andre Rance in Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. We have, of course, Patrick Kenyon and Rowan Lewis. They're in Portland, St. Anne and St. Mary. We have John Hoy Johnson and Jaden Dillon in St. Catherine, St. Andrew, and uh, St. Thomas. And yours truly, Dane Parker and Charmaine Walker Robinson in uh, Middlesex, or what we call Clarendon and Manchester. So, Georgia, are there any other questions at this time? Yes, your question about price. Price, you mm -hmm. can. There are questions on pricing. Okay, okay. What's the price for the filter? Mm -hmm. For those persons who want to know the price, just drop me a line in the WhatsApp okay, at so 876-401-4766, and we will send the price there. Also, there's, okay, a, there's a price on what is the drip spacing on the tape. Okay. And Alric is saying if it's a one-and-a-half-inch filter, mm -hmm. but it's actually a two-inch. Yeah, two, two, yeah inch, two inches. Two inches, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so the drip spacing, of course, is either 30 centimeter or one foot, or 20 centimeter or eight inches. So eight inch or one foot. So it depends on your your crop or what is it that you're going to be growing, John. Or that's that's how you do your selection. Yeah. Generally, most farmers go for the one foot spacing or 30 centimeter because it's adaptable, it's flexible. Yeah. For those who are dedicated to growing onions, they tend to go for eight, eight inch, inch. Um, setup because they'll have better wetting, better wetting, um, better um, dispersion of water, well, all yeah. of that all together. Um, Leroy is saying, my challenge is how do you do the mixture? Uh, so, so Leroy, oh, again, um, for your fertigation, we're going to do a complete setting on that for your next um, training session. I do hope, um, Leroy, that we will cover that question in addition to others for all different growers because that too is a complex. I've seen farmers mixing two pounds of nutrients in <laughs> 45 gallons, gallons yeah, of water yeah. and then using a venturi. And then, uh, uh, that's dilution upon dilution and then, you know, so... Um, things like EC and your pH are going to be some of the conversation topics that we're going to bring up, Leroy. So um, get ahead of the class, get ahead of the session, and, and look up some of these terminologies. Um, you'll see it on our Instagram and Facebook pages. So you know, be reminded of that. Um, but if you do need, again, one-on-one -on -one consultation or advice, you know, we have the different agronomy teams that can visit and, of course, provide you with adequate feedback. And I, I recommend, Leroy, if, if you're doing fertigation, uh, try to get like an EC and a pH meter. Yeah, right? that's going to be needed. You can get that off and that will be good. That's a mm -hmm. good start. Those are, those are tools that you're going to be needing often because, again, you could be injecting, but it's weak. Yeah. All right? So, so, so we're going to go to some of those basic rules that you need to follow as well. Um, and how long does the drip tape last? How many years? How long? All right, I'll say it depends on how you care for it. Yes, yes. Indeed. I've seen persons get four crops out of one, one drip setup, right? So it depends on how you care. So what we recommend is that I uh, try to have m as less or minimal weeds as possible. So that will uh, minimize anybody have to go in and weed, right, to cause damage. What you can do when you're finished with the drip tape, if you're doing to take them up to plow or do any preparation, try to have a roll that you just roll them on 
nicely or you can fold them neatly yes, yes. and wrap them up. Right. So it all depends on how you care for them. So what John is actually saying is that we've seen people or persons with over four years with the system. So it means that it's all about how you care for this bit of investment that yeah. you've put on your farm. Uh, any other questions for us at this time, Georgia? Um, as we wrap up this afternoon's session, we do thank you for your usual participation and, of course, um, your enthusiasm in the... The, the session itself and we do encourage you to like comment and of course subscribe to our various pages you know tell a friend about the conversation and the discussion as we continue to um, bring to you more and more knowledge about agriculture and the various practices so John, I, I hear that there's a question this afternoon yeah, as a giveaway <laughs> can't leave it all giving away something man yes Want indeed the question yes go ahead sir go ahead all right so any of you out there can tell me the length of the rule in meters for the drip tape so what's the length of the rule that we carry for the drip tapes? Well, that, that's a very good one, right? Now put it in meters. I suppose in meters. No, yeah. you don't have to give us feet. All right. <laughs> excellent. Excellent question this afternoon. Um, the line should be buzzing, Georgia. Somebody wins already? Nothing yet. Oh, oh nothing as yet. Jermaine no, 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 said 1,000 meter. Who is that? Jermaine Jackson. Okay, okay. Okay. So you are on point, sir. Yes, 1,000 meter indeed. Is, uh, is the correct answer for this afternoon. Yeah. And um, um, Leroy is asking, when is part two? Okay, wonderful. So Leroy is already a buzz with, <laughs> with part two of the session. Um, our monthly live, um, Georgia, perhaps you want to give us the date for that. i share the date All right, at well, this point in time. But we'll update that. Yeah, man, we'll definitely provide you with that information. You'll see it, on, of course, on our different platform. So again, Leroy, you know, look at some of this, the, the, the different um, products on market. Um, get your questions ready because, we, of course, we'll be, we'll be doing a practical um, yes, approach sir. to this. You'll, we'll come with chalkboard and, and marker and pen and all these things so you can do your calculations or get all these things together for our next session. Again, just to thank you for your viewership and your constant participation in this another series of our live session where we continue to break down and break the, the, the barriers in terms of providing information to our growers. Thank you again and do have a safe rest of the weekend and continue to let's grow your yields.